Hello everyone! Today's video, we will help you explore the vast farm. It will surprise you. We invite you to watch the video today. Hello everyone! Are you a fan of coconut products? Let us know by commenting. Coconut is one of the fourth essential industries in Malaysia after oil palm, rubber and rice. More than 85,000 acres of land are currently planted with coconuts, mainly in the coastal areas and peninsular Malaysia, such as Johor, Perak, and Silangor. About 95% of the area is planted by small farmers, while the remaining 5% is owned by government organizations and real estate. Malaysia is one of the world's most important coconut producers. It is ranked 10th in the list of manufacturers in 2020 and plays an important role in the global market. Malaysia annually exports coconuts worth about RM90 million, $21.42. Coconuts and coconut trees are used in many ways and are exported for a variety of purposes, from food to garden supplies. Coconut trees yield year-round, but can vary from season to season. Coconuts are harvested for various consumption purposes. For the pole method, farmers use a harvested young bud at the top of a long bamboo to cut the remaining bunches of coconuts from the palm. The advantage of this method is that it is generally faster, more efficient. In this way, the harvester can harvest more fruit per unit time with a large number of trees. In some coconut groves, drainage channels are dug between rows of coconut palms to allow the coconuts to fall into the water to reduce the impact of falling. After harvesting the coconut, the farmer selects and begins to peel off the outer shell of the coconut to reduce the weight of the coconut for easy transportation to the factory. Coconut shell after separation is taken to the drying plant to be processed into choir and cocoa pea. Choir and cocoa pea are the main part separated from the coconut shell, or the whole part from the coconut shell. Choir and cocoa pea are available natural materials for useful purposes in life. All production processes use machines and farmers' combinations, carefully arranged and brought to market. Next, we will see the coconut water processing process. After taking it to the factory, the farmer will use a machine to scrap the outer coconut shell to get the copra. After that, removing the opaque brown shell in the outer copra, the worker will obtain a quantity of white and very fragrant copra. What should cut in half to get coconut milk? The inside is white in color, very sweet and delicious. The copra part has been separated from the machine and steamed at a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. The steamed copra is just enough for the farmer to put it in the press to collect the clear white coconut milk. Coconut water is sweet and very fragrant. Packaged in glass bottles 
and cartons to market. The rest is the process of spinning coconut milk. The farmer puts the separated pulp into the mile and squeezes the concentrated juice. Coconut milk is a liquid obtained by manual or mechanical extraction of crushed coconut meat with or without water. The composition of coconut milk depends on the amount of water used for extraction, which significantly affects the moisture content and fat content. Once the pasteurization temperature is reached, the coconut milk is removed from the heat source, immediately transferred to stainless steel hot filling vessels and suitable containers and sealed and packed into barrels to bring to the market. The coconut industry has great potential and bright prospects in Malaysia's growing economy in the near future, possibly as the number one industrial crop in Malaysia. That is the end for today. Thank you for watching the video. Any industrial technology you want to see, you can comment to let us know. It is the process of making food from coconut. If you love it, please like and share. Goodbye and see you again.